in this week's little video on teaching tips I'm going to talk about a method that I've used for the last couple of years called the labyrinth of revision right basically it centers around the film labyrinth for anyone that knows it it's fantastic and it involves you going and constructing a very large labyrinth that you can go and place little revision activities around that the students can work through. I'm going to run through some of the key points that you need to consider before constructing it. Then at the end of this video, there's a short clip showing how the labyrinth is constructed and how it can be used. The first thing to remember, so the first key point is to start planning early, right? It's not going to be a five minute thing to go print everything off and build it. Literally, it must have taken me about 12 hours to build. I might have gone a little over the top because I really got into it. But starting planning nice and early makes all the difference. If you're building a labyrinth, start off by finding a template for a maze on the internet. There's loads of them. Go blow it up so it's about the size of maybe two a two sheets so it's a one in size so an entire class can go and work around it the second key thing that you need to remember is because you're going and you're physically using something ditch the powerpoint the powerpoint is not needed right students especially when doing revision get fed up of seeing powerpoints it's almost deaf by powerpoint so almost by not using the powerpoint you're automatically engaging them because they'll be doing something different and it really works the third key thing to think about is that the students are going to be up out of the seats right when planning and building a labyrinth for revision Put the labyrinth in the middle of the room gather the class around it however just be aware that if you've got a class of 30 they're not all going to be able to fit around it so you're going to have to build in activities that you can go and place around the room so even though the students are working through the labyrinth and trying to get to the middle some of them will still be dotted around the room working through various different tasks The fourth key point is to build lots and lots of different activities, right? This is your golden opportunity to engage students in the content and in revision. So make the most of it. If all of your activities are the same and they're all just answer this question, answer this question, blah, 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 then students are going to get really bored, right? This is your opportunity to build in lots of different activities try building lots of little different games around the room that they can work through etc right i hope that this little introduction has has been helpful and now here's a quick clip showing how i built a labyrinth and how it can be used so once you've gone and you've designed your tasks and everything else and decide how you want to you now can start going and putting together your very own little labyrinth for revision right this is the one that i built and have used with my students for the last couple of years and it's loads of fun start off by going printing out a like a maze diagram off the internet then blow it up so it covers nine individual pieces after you've gone and you've made all of your pieces you can then go and store them in cardboard boxes nicely and easily so after you've used it it can be packed away to be used the following year you've got your castle in the middle and there's various different start points going around the board where students can go and start to move in the way that i did it was the e student had their picture on a cocktail stick which they could then go 
and move around. At the same time, starting off in the middle, I had various cocktail sticks with Malakal Goblin Minions on them. And each time, when my Goblin Minions encountered them, the students had to go and answer a specific six mark question, which is an exam question in this case. As students also go and move around, each time they go and encounter one of these little cards, so little coloured cards with a code on, right? So in this case, P3, right? That refers to a particular or a specific set of questions that they would have to go pick up one of the questions off the right pile and have a go at answering. As we go and we move around the board, we should be able to see that students can go, they can move through the maze, and there are various little pictures here that refer to when they have to go and complete the tasks that would go along with it around the room. Right? Just to spice it up, because you're quite clearly going to be playing the Goblin King, so you're in charge. I did go and add in small pieces of movable wool, so you can go and change the maze as they're moving around. Uh, there's the big wall that goes around the castle, which the aim of their game is to get to the castle in the middle, and they'll have to answer questions to do with that. Uh, I put in small doors where if they went through the door then you could decide a different door for them to come out on so yet again you're taking charge which is really a lot of fun and that was about it this entire task when I used this labyrinth lasted about two hours so because there's loads and loads of different activities that the students needed to work through and loads and loads of opportunities for you to change the maze so to change the labyrinth as they're going around it really made it last a long time and the students really got into it so to finish off here's a quick picture of what it all looks like packed away so you can quite easily see it passed away nicely into a cupboard so you can use it again. Right, I hope that this short video has provided you with a little bit of inspiration and has helped you decide and design your own little revision activity. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and uh, come back next week for some more teaching tips. Right, happy teaching.